Hey guys, welcome to Contractor's Point of View. Today we're going to go over three items that I think would be great as last minute gift items or gift items that you can buy somebody who you have a hard time shopping for. Maybe they have everything, maybe you don't have any idea what they would like. These three items I think would cover you no matter what. At least one of these three items be on that list. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I would also appreciate your comments. Leave something in down below. Let me know what you thought of the video and what you think of the three items, if you think I'm way off base or not. Also, apologize for my voice. I have no idea what's going on with that, but hey, that's what happens. So anyway, let's go through the three items and then I'll give you a little explanation at the end of why I think those would work. So the first item, pocket knife. Everyday carry pocket knife. I think everybody can use one. Obviously not your toddlers, but anybody eight and above, I think a pocket knife is a great gift idea. They come for all budgets. They have $2 pocket knives all the way up to $1,200 pocket knives. All different shapes, sizes, and colors. So that's one. Second item. For these items, I'm going to put down links in the description below of the items that I've used. Only the items that I've used or that I would recommend. But you don't have to buy the ones that I post, but click on the link and maybe it'll take you to something that is similar or maybe you'll see something that just stands out to you. So like I said, first item, pocket knife. Second item, wireless headphones. With today's mobile devices all losing their headphone jacks, going in that direction anyway, except for Samsung and a couple other Chinese phones, eh, the headphone jacks are kind of going away. I suggest a good pair of wireless headphones. Uh, on the construction site, I use these. They're the LG Tone Actives. Uh, they're sweat resistant. They last me all day long. And we put in 12 hour days regularly. Uh, or with these headphones, I never have to have a problem with them dying, okay? So they last me all day long and I listen to music or stream books or uh, listen to podcasts all day long. And they play music two different ways. They have some speakers on the top and they also have the earbuds that are retractable. You pull them out and then you let go and they go back in. I really recommend these big time for uh, construction workers. They last all day and they're with you. And you can keep working and do the things you need to do. You can also take your phone calls on them and things like that. So that makes them super helpful also. Productivity, safety, all that fun stuff. Third item, stay with me on this one please flashlight okay just like the knives the flashlights come in all different shapes sizes colors outputs brightness levels a flashlight is a super gift for emergencies there's people who collect flashlights so if you have a flashlight collector definitely recommend going somewhere other than a hardware store go online like I said I'll throw a couple links below let's get into why I think those three items cover pretty much a full range of people or be good for everybody. So start out with a pocket knife. Let's say you have somebody who doesn't carry a knife. Don't know what kind of person, man, woman, whatever, but they don't carry a knife. You buy them the pocket knife, it might sit in their junk drawer, okay? It might sit in their junk drawer to where they open envelopes with it or they might open Amazon packages with it, right? Okay, it's still getting use. It's a great thing to have around in the kitchen, in your junk drawer in your desk drawer, whatever it happens to be, I would definitely recommend a pocket knife. Say somebody who already has a pocket knife, maybe even has 20 pocket knives because they collect pocket knives. Well, I can guarantee you if they have 20 or 30 pocket knives or even one pocket knife, a second one is not gonna hurt. Don't worry about quality. Don't worry about brand name. Don't worry about anything. You can go pick anything. So let's go to the wireless headphones. Like I said, a lot of the devices nowadays don't have headphone jacks. I'm a little bit more conscious on the safety side because I see guys still on the job site wearing wired headphones with the wires hanging down and going in the shirt. And, you know, they talk to you about safety and not wearing loose fitting clothing and things like that. And then these guys got wires hanging out from their headphones and they're around mechanical equipment. Doesn't make any sense to me, but regardless, it's how they operate. That's why I think a set like this for a job site, spectacular because it adds, like I said, safety uh, application to it. It adds in productivity. Music is good to work by, so it helps promote good work. Also productivity in that if they get a phone call, I can pull this out, take a phone call, keep working, do the things I'm doing, 
and then when it's done pull it out and I'm back to work and I didn't you know didn't have to stop for anything also people who travel a lot on airplanes I have a second set of headphones they're the Bose wireless noise canceling headphones and uh, they work great for the airplane some people use it just to work you know so they have a quiet environment but for me, it's mostly on the airplane and that's when I use them. And so that's why I think the wireless headphones that nowadays would cover pretty much a full range of people. And say they already have a set. So you're like, well, I can't get them that because they already have a set of wireless headphones. Or they're not the kind of person to wear, wear headphones. These are not the only headphones out there wireless wise and neither are the Bose. There's so many different range of headphones. I know a whole range of ages of people that wear these things. They're just good to have. A second pair isn't bad because maybe somebody wants them to wear, they wear them at the gym but they don't want to wear them to work because they're all sweaty and nasty. You know, these are sweat resistant so you get them a second pair, they can wear them at work now and they don't have to worry about their workout pair. So anyway, that's just another thought. Let's get on over to the flashlight and finish off this video. The flashlights, there are so many different kind of flashlights and different brightness outputs and things like that, like I was saying, but if they don't have an emergency flashlight for their car, they don't have one for their house, anywhere else, uh, maybe they wanna carry one in their pocket every day. Another flashlight, again, just like the knife thing, is not gonna be a bad thing. They will enjoy a second, third, fourth, fifth flashlight. My recommendations on flashlights, my favorite flashlight over and above everything else that I've had so far uh, is my Phoenix PD35. It has a thousand lumen maximum output. They actually make two different versions. One's a tactical version. The version two has like a battery level indicator on it, some other things, you know, just makes it different than the tactical version. And uh, that's by far my favorite so far. I like the size of it, I like the outputs, the lumens, it's a nice steady 1000 lumen output. And then the other flashlight I would recommend is my AA tool that I have. It is super awesome flashlight. Uh, this AA tool is kind of a unique flashlight. There's some others that do it, but it takes two different kinds of batteries. Uh, it can run on a AA, like its name. Or you can put what's called a 14500 battery in it. And the 14500 battery, what's different about that is it's a little over twice the voltage of the regular AA battery. So you don't want to put that battery in your remote control or anything like that because it'll fry it. But that battery boosts the output. It doubles the output of that flashlight. Hello. It doubles the output of that flashlight to over 600 lumens. It's incredible. It's insane, really, for that size of a flashlight to be putting out 600 lumens. It's awesome, right? That's my second, and I carry that in my pocket every day. The, the Phoenix PD35, I carry one in my truck all the time, and I also carry one in my tool bag on my pouch uh, every day. For an emergency flashlight, I recommend this uh, Pelican Glow in the Dark flashlight this thing looks so cool it looks weird it's not a novelty item but it's definitely one of those things where it's great as an emergency flashlight it is also super in your tool bag because it's a different color than anything else you pretty much have you won't be searching for it it'll be right there and you'll be like I know where my flashlight is it also has a little brother it's a little bit smaller and it glows in the dark really well and I like it, it, it it's it kind of stands out it's kind of a neat flashlight to have and I can almost guarantee you that nobody else is gonna have one of those you buy them one of those and they're gonna be like whoa that's kind of neat it goes in the dark right so um, anyway those are my three ideas a knife wireless headphones and a flashlight all of these things come in uh, different price ranges I'll link up in the description the things that I've actually used and the stuff I could recommend. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If you've made it this far, please leave me a comment below. I would really like to hear your thoughts on some of these items that I've listed, all of these items that I've listed, and um, I'd be interested if you do end up giving them as gifts. Let me know how it goes. You might be giving it to somebody who is totally unsuspecting on getting a knife or a flashlight or a wireless headphones. I want to know how it goes. So if you do get one of these gifts, please let me know. And all the links below, they're all affiliate links, but it doesn't cost you any more to click on them. And if you do buy something from the, it does support the channel. So thank you very much. 
Uh, sorry for the wobbly video, sorry for all this fun stuff, but this is the only time I've got to do this. And I really appreciate your time. I know you could be watching other stuff, so I hope this was helpful. I hope you got something out of it. Until next time, stay safe.